Okay, so I have strapped on my harness, uh, as you can see here, connected, it's nice and snug. Um, I've slid in my fiberglass rod and the PVC pipe that I am choosing to use, which is the quarter inch, 17 inch PVC pipe. Um, I know this setup is good for cameras up to about 8.5 pounds. Um, the camera I'm going to be using with the battery in it is about right around 7 pounds, so this will be a great weight for it. Um, I do want to point out uh, the extra belt uh, that we've strapped on the back here is an extra piece of webbing that goes across the back for extra support. But it also works as a doubles as a utility belt type thing. So you can strap on your wireless mics or whatever else you have. If you have a fire store or something like that, you can clip it on. Um, I have my wireless mic on. Okay, so um, I've got my camera, my Velcro strap with the D-ring, I've attached that and uh, the webbing strap here I've attached to the D-ring. So now I could attach that. Now I wanna just point out uh, a couple of the features about this adjustable webbing strap. This extra D-ring we have up top is so that you could actually double up or cut in half the uh, webbing strap. So if I take this end, slide it through the D-ring, then I attach it to the D-ring that's up on top, I've actually, in effect, cut it in half. So if I really want it up higher, I have that adjustment there. If I just use the regular length, the way it's built, I attach it here. I think that's about nine inches, 10 inches. But then I can also adjust it all the way down. I think it's 14 inches is the maximum length that it goes. So you have several different uh, lengths that you can adjust the webbing strap to. Um, I'm going to adjust this back up to about that eight, nine inches. That's where I feel pretty comfortable, where I like it to be. When I want to go to attach the camera, I want to make sure I got a good firm grip on the webbing, uh, adjustable webbing strap. Grab my snap hook, undo it with my thumb. I'm going to pull down with my right hand on the rod and I'm going to clip them together. I want to get a hold of the camera before I let go of the adjustable webbing strap just to make sure in case I didn't snap it up there right or it's something didn't work here but now I feel confident I have my hand on the camera and I can start to adjust feel the weight I mean you can see you can put this the uh, velcro strap you can slide it anywhere along the handle wherever it feels comfortable for you um, and you find your right balance um, but as you can see I mean it's pretty easy and I'm it's pretty easy. I don't, I don't suggest you do that, <laughs> just in case. But the, the camera will just hang there, and then all I have to do is guide it, which makes my job as a cinematographer or videographer extremely uh, much easier, much much easier. And this is just if you want if you want to use this to help you do handheld. And we're going to talk a little bit about how to get smooth, smooth, smooth shots. Um, moving, walking, smooth shots, um, as you see on some of the videos on the uh, website. Once you get used to the feeling, it really becomes part of your body. So that, it, so that if you do move, like let's say I'm moving down like this, it just becomes easy. I mean, I, when I've shot cinematography, are you able to pan down? Yes. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, when I've shot a lot, I mean, when I've shot movies, I've had to get down low like this, uh, you know, I've got to climb up. But look how easy it is for me to move around. I mean, I walk away, as you can see. I can hold this pretty darn smooth because I'm not using my muscles to hold the camera up. Because once I tense my muscles up and I'm carrying the camera, then every move I make, it's like this, you know? But now I'm relaxed. I can, this, this camera can float along. I mean, it's really, really easy. If I want to do anything with this camera, this is simple. I mean, if you're a wedding videographer, just imagine yourself on the dance floor with people like this, and you can actually move in and out of the crowd shooting really cool, intimate footage where you feel like you're on the dance floor with them. All right, so first thing is I want to attach my handle. And I made this extremely easy to attach and un unattach and take apart and all that so that it's easy. You don't need tools to do this. All right? You screw that in. Um, all the, the caps are both you know, by hand. You can take them on and off. All right, so once I put the handle on, you can see that even that allows, is going to allow me to get smoother shots because I'm not handling the camera now. So I can actually let it float and just guide it. 
All right, just be ready to follow me, John, if I do move out of frame, because you know I'm crazy like that. Um, so if I do, you know, you can just see, and I'll, I'll do a real. This is simple. But even this, you can see the camera is just floating along. It's really simple. You know, I'm not handling the camera. I'm not tense. My arms aren't tense because I'm not holding the weight of the camera. Okay, so now I'm going to add a little extra weight to this. Um, and with your package, you get a one and a quarter pound plate and a two and a half pound plate. Um, and this is so you can find the ideal weight for your camera because not all cameras weigh the same. And you can also find the ideal weight for your feel. I mean, some people might want a little more tension. Some people might want less tension. Um, it's, it's up to you. And that's so we've given you all kinds of varieties and it's really easy to find the right weight for, you, for your feel. All right, so I'm gonna add the two and a half pound plate to, to my handle here. And I'll just slide that up. And then I got my cap and I screw that back on. And again, I, I wanted to make this really easy to take things on and off so you don't have to worry about tools and taking things apart. But now once, once I add that, that's two and a half pounds more on the, on the weight of this rod. And as you can see, like I'm, you know, I'm letting go of this, but I highly recommend that you don't just for safety reasons. Um, I've, I've worked with this, I've tested it, so I feel really confident. All right, so <clears throat> once I added this weight, it adds more tension to this rod, which actually will even take more bounce and vibration out of it because there's more tension, okay? So let me just show you, and John, be ready to move with me. I wanna show you how, how this uh, works. So just, just this, a little movement, I can move across this grass. And I'm gonna move toward you. Look how smooth this is. Now I'm walking super smooth, which any camera operator has to do if they wanna get a smooth shot. But this is helping me get this smooth shot. And as you can see, I'm not working hard. 